This is Golden Delicious, and I'm hoping to finish turn two of Second Battle of Kharkov and go on to turn three. So uh, I was done moving everything at the end of the last video. Just checking if stuff needs to dig in. These guys want to dig in over here. Whoops, Daisy. Yeah, like that. This unit needs to dig in here. Uh, 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 okay, cool. And then resolve combats. So we have sound not working for some reason. Um, uh, this one attack on this tank brigade with the uh, S-port. Thinks about it for a bit. Thinks about it for a bit. One of the things about four is that it spends ages loading every sound effect and then it takes ages to resolve the battle. Okay, that went pretty well. Uh, one of the things about attacking armor though is that the armor tends to not take super, super heavy losses. And that means that the unit comes more and more pure armor as time goes on and harder and harder to fight. Okay, let's go down here. Let's figure out what's going on with the sound. It's just, sound is just not cooperating. No, you don't want to see my control panel. No. Okay, fine, we'll just live with it. Okay, fine. Uh, can I just, can I do anything about that one unit there now? No. Okay, so uh, yeah, what I'm worried about, of course, is that this guy will then come in and RBC my poor artillery regiment there. It's not ideal for me, but it is what it is. Okay, so we're just going to keep hitting this armored brigade, tank brigade. Is that the... No, see, my dive bombers have gone into reorganization, so I'll do this without air support because I've got all the artillery. Uh, that, that one unit also didn't dig in. I could do a strike against that stack. It's mostly armor, though. Okay. Uh, all right, we'll go with that. Yeah. So hopefully that unit is sufficiently wrecked that it'll be in reorganization on the PO's turn. Again, still most of the armor is there. Makes it sort of a dangerous unit in, in, in a way. And I can't attack it anymore. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll go over that. Now see what the PO does. Oh, lots of interdiction strikes. Okay. Here we go. Just wrecking the Romanian army more and more and more. While this is going on, I'm just going to see if my speakers are actually plugged in. They are, that's good. Yeah, fine. All fine. I'm more interested to see what goes on up at Belgorod. Ooh, that division is in a bit of a trap. Yeah, that's it. You you deal with the stuff in your rear area and just and not don't don't worry about advancing or anything like that. Yeah, chase stuff around, just in like a little circle. That's nice, in a nice little circle. And then he's like, he's worried then because I've got this remaining division is sort of sitting across his his objective track. Oh wow! Oh, I don't like that when like a fresh or decent or infantry regiment in decent condition gets RBC because it's like, can I stop the Soviets at all? 
Oh, yes, I can with this nice big counterattack that I'm going to do. This division is going to get hammered very soon. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of bombardments. And that's it. No proper attacks. All right. So basically fine here, right? This is looking super vulnerable with this nice density light stack here. Okay, I'm happy about that. This brigade here is a bit of a threat. Fine. I will this turn do that attack. Okay. Uh, okay. I feel pretty confident about this now. Can I chase this one guy off? No. Uh, now is the time to use this one remaining unit to totally mess up the rear of the PO. How far up can you get up there? Um, no, maybe later. Okay, this this flank. Uh, I wonder if it's done retreating or maybe not. Yeah, let's pull a little bit further back from this salient here. Maybe this sort of second line can dig in and this first line pulls back. Uh, so the artillery... And the HQ, there you go, back, you dig in, you dig in. Yeah, so just pull out this front front line. Releases a few units. Yeah, so if I put that there, dig in there. See, I was going to say it releases the whole of 9th Division. These three regiments here are all free. But this regiment is so weak that I sort of don't want to rely on it to hold the hex. So I might shift... Okay, yeah, so we'll put that regiment in support there. And yeah, then, then the whole of 9th Division comes out and acts as sort of a reserve. Or, or can, yeah, it can go over here. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. See what you can do when you pull out of a salient. You can get nice big chunks of units back to the line uh yeah okay i'll pull the fragments there back yeah these guys I and mean, this is almost redundant because the po isn't even coming this way um but for now, they'll just dig in. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make a further attempt to deal with this one tank regiment here. Can I now actually trap it completely? Maybe. Um, or maybe not, because I've just dug in all the units that I needed to move. And I definitely can't release that guy. So uh, I would have to put... This would be really dicey to do. Yeah, no, okay, we'll just attack from where we are. Because ideally, I surround it and I destroy it, but I don't. I just don't have the, the units to do that. Um, I'm not sure about this flank. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, so one thing we can do potentially. Mm, no, I don't think it's gonna okay. Let's just spread out and try and mess up the PO's rear area as much as possible. Ho ho ho. Uh like that. There you go. And the HQ is gonna do the most amount of messing up. Oh look, I broke all those rail hexes for you. Not that they're carrying their supply through there, but they might be in the future. And the PO will really react to this. Oh no, one of my rear vic victory objectives was converted to axis control. What a disaster. Okay. Um, right. Here the PO is not sort of coming for me. Right. And he's just going to continue to faff around in this area as long as these Romanian units are. Oh, look at that. Recombine. I love it. Um, so we're going to keep sort of fleeing into the hills here with the, rem the, the rem remnants of this Romanian force. This division, I think, is going to stay put, digging in to prevent a direct move on this rail line through the or, or along this road as well, because you've got the zone of control across those three hexes. Uh, and this guy is also going to dig in. And this guy is also just going to dig in. Okay. This division is in a spot of bother. I think I can get it out there by doing that and that and that. This guy's just going to die. That's fine. Okay. I want it to be in sort of that, those three hexes there. And the question is, yeah, okay, we'll do that like that. See, by moving the units in the right order, never vacating a hex with a unit you want to keep um, and thinking about it, you get the whole division apart from the poor, poor anti-tank detachment out to a new, better position without taking any kind of losses at all and now the soviets are going to spend the whole to the next turn following up and still not be able to use their enormous strength to do too much damage okay i'm going to clean up this south flank here a bit and withdraw it back i think i mean i would probably ultimately like to be behind this river line here but these hills are good enough for the time being okay yeah I mean, there's only so, so fast I can pull out of this salient. Oh, I want to get that one regiment out. Okay. All right, my son is trying to join in the video, and he is four years old and doesn't know a great deal about operational warfare. No, he's all right for the time being. Okay. Uh, okay, everyone is safe and sound there along this bit of road. My HQs have got all the engineers, haven't they? So if I want to cross the river, I pull the HQ back first. And then the artillery stuff can follow okay cool um because i'm not under any pressure here i'm going to move this artillery over to the north flank there right that position is definitely better than it was before this flank is the ropey one because we're relying on this poor security division here that's taken such a pounding um This unit is just going to have to suck it up, I think. Oh, lucky. Lucky to pull back without a, a disengagement penalty there. Uh, so I can pull up to follow that line there. That works for me. And say the Kharkov becomes a worse and worse salient, but I don't think that the PO is able to adequately exploit that. Uh, 
There you go, look at that. So there's no way that the nasty, big, strong PO units are going to be in a position to, to actually hurt me on my turn, apart from these few units that are exposed forward here. Okay, now for the fun part. Oh, wait, hang on first. I need to... Yeah, why? Look, this is what the PO does that really confuses me, right? I've got three nice, big, strong, fresh infantry rifle divisions, and this unit is next to me. Either they're going to attack, right? Or they're going to go and do something else. Why have you got a red density light just sat there? That unit was, those units were all still there on the previous turn. Should be moving into this gap here. Oh, well. Pure, PO is a bit of a law unto itself here, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Going to move this one around the flank like that to make sure that this position does not get too exposed. And as the armor is over there, we will start to move that around, but it can't get there yet. Okay. Now, now is the fun part where I'm moving the armor. I'm going to start with my recon detachment. See what's in Belgorod, if anything. I can't quite get them out of supply. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> what would... Ah, oh, no, and then there's a... Okay. All right, I'm going to do the rest of this later because my son is getting increasingly agitated, I think. So thanks for watching, and uh, next segment soon.